Welcome, it's Dinom. I just recently discovered that yield farming on a Binance Smart Chain is probably one of the best ideas right now. Because Binance Smart Chain, you only have to pay a few pennies for each transaction. And if we just compare the total value locked here with Ethereum uh, smart contracts, if we take it from January 5, it was about $19 billion. And currently we have $27 billion locked in DeFi protocols on Ethereum. So it's about 50% increase. But if we compare that to the total value locked in Binance Smart Chain, in Binance Smart Chain, you have already $1.2 billion locked in and it grew from 500 million to 1.2 billion. So that's more than 2x increase. So more growth is happening on Binance Smart Chain than on Ethereum. And you have a lot of interesting stuff happening here. And if we take a look at some of the uh, protocols here, you can see some of the biggest ones, Venus, which is similar to Aave or Aave protocol, a lending platform, as well as you have PancakeSwap, which is kind of like Uniswap or SushiSwap of uh, Binance Smart Chain. This has the most liquidity. It is basically used by everyone. So you can trade stuff with PancakeSwap as well as you can uh, yield farm on PancakeSwap as well. And then you have Bfi.finance, which is kind of like the YFI, of Binance Smart Chain, so it's a yield aggregator. And by the way, I think this has a lot of potential, but this is not the uh, platform that I personally use. And I will explain exactly why, because I use something else for aggregating yield on Binance Smart Chain, and I will explain exactly uh, uh, in this video as well what I use. But anyway, if we just take a look at PancakeSwap and compare it to something like SushiSwap, uh, SushiSwap has a market cap of $1.6 billion, and the total value locked is $2.5 billion. So it's almost two to one ratio of total value locked compared to market cap, but not exactly. And if we take a look at the price of uh, Sushi, you can see that it was about $0.5 just a few months ago, and then it did a 20x to about $13, which is uh, its price currently. So that's a lot of price increase of uh, from, it's actually more than 20x, like 25x almost. Insane, insane price growth. And if we take a look at PancakeSwap, you can see that the market cap is $260 million and the price increase went from 0.3 from the same period of time, 0.3 almost, to almost $3. So that's a 10x price increase. So that's a lot of price increase already. But the total value locked here on PancakeSwap is, uh, if we go to PancakeSwap, you can see the total value locked is $516 million and the uh, market cap with PancakeSwap is $260 million. So that's actually pretty darn close to two to one ratio. And I do believe that this will attract even more capital as time goes on to Binance Smart Chain, just because the fees are so much better here and the yield farming and everything is pretty legit here. And now let's talk about the yield farming aggregator that I use. It's called autofarm.network. I think this is hands down the best place to yield farm currently, in my opinion, that uh, what, what I was able to uh, research currently. And these things always change, but uh, for now, this one looked uh, most appealing to me. So the total value locked here is $28 million and they have an official audit. So you can take a look at the audit. Let's actually take a look at it quickly. So this is the audit made by uh, Vida or Vida, I don't know exactly how to say it. And they say the uh, everything here, you can take a look at this document if you want to. I'm not someone who really understands it, but as far as I know, it looks legit. And uh, fr from the people that I was talking with, it's 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 okay. So you there's no chance of rug pulling from them uh, from their part. And they are aggregating yield in three different places from Venus protocol that I, we showed previously that has about $500 million locked. They are aggregating yield from PancakeSwap. So if you're just providing liquidity on PancakeSwap, you probably want to um, put it here for two reasons. First, this actually compounds interest back to itself. So when you deposit, let's say, uh, uh, Binance tokens and Cake liquidity pool tokens here, you are getting more liquidity pool tokens as a reward because it sells the profits and puts it back to uh, the liquidity pool tokens here. So you get automatic compound interest as well as you earn these auto tokens as well as, uh, as a bonus. So you get even more yield here than you would get simply by doing it on uh, PancakeSwap. It's the same with BFI.finance, which is a little bit more popular. 
they do a similar thing here. You can get uh, pretty nice APYs here. By the way, kebab, I, I'm personally not doing the, the kebab farming, even though it gives 30 million uh, uh, 30 million percent APY. I'm not doing this on uh, beefy that finance or even on, on auto that finance. But anyway, it's a similar platform here. But I see a little bit more potential in auto farm for a few reasons that I will explain soon as well. So in the protocols that I'm currently in, is WBNB and auto liquidity pool token. As you can see, I have $8,800 locked here. I started with $5,000, but the price of auto has actually gone up quite a bit already. Let's take a look at that one here. So the price of auto is now $340. I actually bought it here about $120 about roughly here that I, I joined the pool here and the price has just gone up <laughs> quite a bit. But if we talk about the potential of auto, let's take a look at that one. So auto, let's take a look at the smart contract. Where was it? I had it somewhere. I think it's not this one. Let me see. So, okay, let's talk about the tokenomics of auto first. So the tokenomics is that the maximum supply is 80,000 auto. And the minting started from 15th of December and it will end on October 2021. So less than 10 months left for farming this token. But after that, or even now, the tokenomics are actually deflationary. So every time you earn yield, about 1% to 5% to 3% are actually used to buy back auto tokens um, and they are burned from the supply forever. So if we take a look at the supply of auto, you can see the current supply is 12,460 auto tokens and they have burned about 132 auto, a little over 132 auto here as, as a total. And as you can see, these burnings happen with every single time people collect the reward as well. So the auto is being burned all the time. So it is deflationary and the total uh, inflation left for this token is because the maximum supply is 80,000 the poten uh, maximum inflation here is about 700%, uh, not even that, uh, about 600% inflation. But because they are burning it all the time, as and as the supply of auto increases, they are burning it even faster as well. So I, all in all, maybe 400% uh, inflation is coming in the, in, uh, within this year. But now let's talk about the price potential here. So let's take a look at the price of auto here. And this is one of the reasons why I really, really like it. So we have uh, 12,000, let's say 13,000 uh, auto supply, and we times it by the price, which is currently $357. You can see that this is $4.6 million uh, market cap. $4.6 million market cap. So it's less than $5 million market cap. And the total value locked in this is $28 million. So if we take a look at the ratio of sushi, which was almost two to one, and we take a look at the ratio of pancake swap, which was almost exactly two to one, this ratio here is seven to one of total value locked compared to market cap. So for that reason, I was confident enough to actually farm this auto even in the auto pool. So normally I would not suggest holding these farmable tokens, but in my opinion, the tokenomics of auto farm just make a lot of sense and the price potential of auto in my opinion makes a lot, of, a lot of sense as well so the price of auto can even double or triple from here in my opinion and it would still be okay and this total value locked it has increased almost by 10 million dollars in the last three days that i've been here as well so just take that as well not 10 dollars maybe uh, i think it was 20 million when i started so eight eight million more something like that and I'm also in the Bitcoin pool. So this is aggregating yield on Venus. So as you can see, the R, uh, APR on a Venus protocol is 18%. But because it compounds it back to Bitcoin, I put about 0.1 Bitcoin here. You can see that I've earned a few thousand Satoshis here as a result. And I also earn these auto tokens as a bonus as well. So I earn 0.8% uh, uh, auto tokens per day and I can just harvest, harvest these at any given time here with my MetaMask wallet and as you can see the gas fee here is 0 0.004 BNB tokens so it's fraction of a penny if I just farm this as well so I can just farm it and sell it to something else if I want to and another pool and I will have to explain this also is something called SBDO 
BUSD, and this has 1.8 million percent APY, and it consists of farming SPDO BUSD. BUSD is only just a stablecoin. It's as safe as PAX stablecoin as well. It's the Binance uh, stablecoin, and SPDO is the is the other token, and I do believe it has price potential as well. And the APY is just insane here, and it consists of the farming APR but it compounds back to itself. So that's 2.7% per day. So I actually deposited 112 liquidity pool tokens here. And in one single day, I got uh, three more uh, liquidity pool tokens. So it's compounding these liquidity pool tokens back to itself. And it gives a little bit, not much, but a little bit auto tokens here as well. Just this doesn't really make sense compared to the APR that you can get from these SPDO pools. So now, this is how the uh, pl platform works here. I will just show a little bit of the risks here. So the risks here are, of course, the general DeFi risks with auto farm as well as smart contracts risk, smart contract risks. But all the smart contracts are time locked with 24 hour time locks, and they have the audit here. Of course, you have third party risks because they are aggregating yield from different places. So the SPDO farm, the dollar. A B dollar farm may not be sustainable or it may not be good because there could be a hack in a third party uh, or in Bankx or something else as well. But let's talk about the uh, roadmap for auto farm, why I think uh, the price potential is pretty nice uh, with this as well. So first is that they are aggregating yield also on Huobi ECO chain as well soon uh, on February or this month. And next month they will aggregate a DEX aggregator. So you will have a decentralized uh, exchange aggregator on Binance Smart Chain and the alpha launch is on March next month. So it's kind of like the one inch platform as well. So if we go here and you click the swap, it's currently not available, but it's coming in two months as well. So I think that could be really nice. So it would be one of the first uh, uh, decentralized exchange aggregators on Binance Smart Chain. So this could be the one inch for Binance Smart Chain. Next, uh, on July and August, you can see that they will have Kusama, Polkadot and XDAI yield aggregator. So they are going cross-chain as well. So all in all, the roadmap for 2021 is looking solid, uh, in my opinion. The tokenomics make a lot of sense, in my opinion, in my opinion as well. And they have the official audit. So in my opinion, all of this makes a lot, a lot of sense to farm on auto farm. And finally, I want to talk about the B dollar here and why I chose to be in this $1.8 million pool as well. And this is going to be some really decent stuff as well, but I'm, I, I will try to explain. So B dollar, if you go to B dollar.fi, uh, B dollar is an algorithmic stable coin running on Binance Smart Chain. So they have three different tokens here. B dollar is the stable coin. And as you can see, the circulating supply is about 5.7 million tokens. And then they have the B dollar share, which is basically the uh, the governance token. And then you have a B dollar bond, which is uh, another coin. I would not buy this coin. It is only used to stabilize the price here. So if the price is below $1, then the protocol will mint these B dollar bonds, and you can actually swap these B dollar bonds back to the stablecoin to stabilize the price. Basically, you burn the supply out of existence. So the supply contracts when the price is below one dollar, and the su supply expands when it's above one dollar. And this is where B SPDO comes in. When the price is below one dollar, SPDO holders uh, can buy these uh, B dollar bonds, and if the price is above $1, SPDO holders will gain free BDO as a reward. So if we go and look at the boardroom, boardroom here, uh, this, is the, uh, this is the place where you can stake SPDO. As you can see, I have two SPDOs here. And in the last one day that I've been uh, staked here, I've received 60 BDOs, which is currently above uh, a little above $1. And the expansion rate, it just means that the current supply, which was 5.7 uh, million uh, tokens, it will expand by 2%. And that expansion, let's calculate that. It was 5.7 5 5 uh, mil, million uh, tokens. And if it expands by 2%, it will mint 114,000 uh, 114, 
new videos and that 114 thousand video tokens will be distributed between people who have staked SPDO and as you can see the APR which is not APY APR is almost 2000 percent currently with this expansion but as the price of BDO goes below one dollar then you will only have the chance to buy these uh, bond tokens but they usually sell out within a few minutes so I personally don't haven't had the chance to do it within the one day that I've been here because the price has always been a little bit over one dollar so the demand for these tokens is for some reason pretty high people want to buy these and that's what driving the price up and that's why uh, more tokens are being minted here I guess the demand comes from the yield farming for BDO tokens I, I think that's the main use case currently but anyway that's the how the SPDO works and now let's talk about the tokenomics of SPDO as well and why I was confident enough to actually buy this and hold it so as you can see uh, let's go here the current supply of SPDO tokens is 10,000 tokens and the total supply is 87,000 tokens so the uh, inflation here is about 80 800 percent and that's the inflation there and let's ta take a closer look what that actually means so the BDO token let's see if it's explained here I think it was not this one I think it was on the docs here yeah so here so SPDO loosely represents the value of the B dollar protocol and the trust in its systematic ability to maintain the BDO back so it's kind of like the maker DAO of Binance smart chain as well so you have the stable coin called BDO and the stable coin of maker DAO is DAI so this is a similar protocol to that and the protocol means BDO and distributes it proportionally to all SPDO holders like I explained SPDO also gives you the voting rights and SPDO has a maximum supply of 100,000 tokens and they are basically uh, released within linearly within the 12 months so it has quite a bit of inflation but because it uh, represents the value of this whole ecosystem and because you can uh, get these BDO tokens if you just stake the BDO a lot of people want to stake it. so the current staking ratio you can see this is 10,000 tokens uh, circulating but out of those tokens 8,400 tokens have actually been staked in this pool here and that's the reason why people want to hold this coin and to stake it so their staking ratio right now is what 84 percent and they also have these shares here and these are the different pools on pancake swap so if you provide liquidity on these different things here like SPDO BUSD you can see the APR is 1000 percent and this is the pool that I'm currently in on the auto farm so this uh, pool here compounds it back to itself and the BDO BUSD is another place where you can earn SPDO tokens and the APR is actually pretty high here as well so if you don't want to have a lot of risk you can have just the stable coin to stable coin pool here and earn these SPDOs and you don't even have to do that if you do it with this pool because this automatically sells those SPDOs back on the market and it buys back these uh, stable coins here so you are earning uh, compound interest on the stable coins in this pool here 33,000 percent APY this is again quite insane so it's just like a money printing machine and yes there's a lot of risks and so far this B dollar protocol has not been audited so they are actually working on on a working on a on an audit of certic which is one of the most popular uh, audit services but this is pretty much how the system works here and uh, let's quickly talk about the the not the I'll talk about the roadmap also here but uh, let's see if I can find it where is the I had it somewhere was it here not that one here so this is the liquidity pool token rewards so for the next 12 months the BDO BUSD pool will give 35,000 SPDO tokens but most new SPDO tokens that will come to existence will come from the BDO BUSD pool here which is the stable coin pool but the SPDO BUSD pool because it doesn't have that many people in it yet uh, that's why it gives so high uh, APY so this pool here as you can see I have here only $8,000 
uh, but I own about 1.3% of the total vault here. So that's uh, the reason why the APY is so high, because not, uh, not many people provide liquidity on this particular pool. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let's talk about the roadmap for B dollar and why I'm happy to hold this SBDO tokens as a, as a whole as well. So you have to basically believe this roadmap in order to uh, uh, invest in this protocol. So in quarter one of 2021, they want to have 20 plus casino games on the burn that FI page. I will show that also. I guess I have to do it now. To burn that FI is another page that they have, and it has this other governance token called BFI. And this BFI, <laughs> I know this sounds crazy already. It took me a while to actually understand it myself. But they have these casino games here, as well as 20% of the world farming rewards of the B dollar uh, protocol are distributed to the BFI holders. So if you hold BFI, you also earn some of the rewards here as well. And uh, they are also minting a little bit more of these BFI tokens uh, uh, throughout this year as well. And all in all, the APY is almost 60% APY. And this compounds uh, back to itself here automatically. So I bought 15 of these BFI tokens and the price of BFI is just going up quite a bit as well. Let's take a look at if I have it here. I did not have it here. So let's actually take a look at the price of SPDO first. So this is the price of SPDO. It's pretty much going sideways, up and down, up and down. Uh, and the uh, total market cap here, as you can see, uh, they had 10,000 tokens, right? And if we comp uh, times it by the price, the market cap is $11 million here. So it's a little bit elevated already. So that's not exactly ideal, but uh, I think it can go up, especially if you take a look at the roadmap soon and if they can get the audit out. But this is in a $11 million market cap. It's been a little bit sideways here. And uh, let's take a look at the BFI. And this is uh, this is the BFI here. And it went up by about 50% since last night. And uh, let's take a look at the max. And it's just going parabolic here. <laughs> so I would be a little bit scared to buy this. I actually bought it here about... 160 something like that I bought it yesterday just to try it out and uh, because the roadmap looked uh, pretty significant and the market cap here on the BFI and the BFI is pretty much the governance token of both the burn.fi and the governance token of the B dollar.fi I'm sorry I'm confusing but this is like this this is like you get a piece of the whole B, B uh, ecosystem but uh, we, I think we have to take a look. Yeah, this is the supply here. So the current supply of BFI is 28,000 BFI and the maximum supply is 210,000 BFI. So it's quite a bit already, but the market cap here is only $6 million. So if you uh, times the current price with the, uh, with the total supply currently, the market cap is $6 million here for the whole BFI ecosystem coin. So for that reason, I was again, okay to buy this. This was about $4 million when I actually bought it. But yeah, all in all, it's it's quite decent. Uh, but now let's talk about the games here. So if we click here, you can see that they have a Ethereum bridge here as well. And you can have this B play here. And they have this one game currently that you can already pay, play on the burn.fi. So it's like a casino game. You can guess if you get a higher or lower number. Uh, it's kind of similar that you already see with Bitcoin, but this is for the Binance Smart Chain uh, protocol as well. So they are expanding this one game to have 20 more uh, games on the on the platform. So that's what's happening there. 20 more casino games. They will have more uh, token rewards. And quarter two, you have more bridges to other blockchains. So they are going... Uh, they are going cross-chain as well. And on quarter three, they will go to Polkadot as well. They will have an NFT market, lending system, margin options decks, and order book decks as well. So all in all, a lot of development on this platform. And because most of these things are already working and it's been alive for a while, that's why I was confident enough to actually get in on this ecosystem because the team actually looks like they are actually developing stuff and actually implementing stuff at a fast rate. And for the stablecoin, 
let's talk about that is it uh, how, how is it performing stablecoin you should measure its success based on how close the price is to one dollar so at the beginning the dollar was not even close to the uh, one dollar but now it's a little little bit getting closer and closer to the one dollar mark so as you can see it, it it had a little bit of a congestion here or subtraction of the total market cap of the bdo but now it's up again above one dollar and every time it's above one dollar the sbdo owners actually earn the bdo tokens as a reward as well so that's pretty much how the whole ecosystem works for b dollar and those are pretty much the best yield farmings yield farming methods that i currently found out on the binance smart chain and again you don't have to go as crazy with the b dollar ecosystem i just had a big bet that uh, it will be successful eventually that's why i went uh, in on it and you can compound the interest automatically with the auto farm but you can simply just auto farm with link and that's 130 percent apy as well and it's using the venus protocol as the aggregator by the way this it looks like the multiplier is gonna go lower on this pool here so whenever you use these yield farmings you have to be careful of the uh of different changes because sometimes they just announce a uh, change and some of these pools can actually stop being in existence for example if we go to the banks here initially they had these different banks here but uh, they stopped working and as you can see some people still have money in this and uh, the money is not doing anything here so i don't know why people haven't withdrawn their money maybe they forgot they had the money here or maybe they just haven't looked the updates so you have to be uh, on the lookout of different changes whenever you use different uh, yield farming protocols because these things are always changing uh, as time goes on and i also want to highlight something called beefy that finance because they were the original og DeFi aggregator on binance smart chain so a lot of people told me that this is also a really good platform the total value locked is 83 million dollars but the market cap is 52 million dollars already so that's less than two to one ratio with the total value lock compared to market cap so for that reason i think the auto farm just has a lot more potential because the total value locked is so much higher compared to the current market cap uh, versus the bfi.finance but bfi.finance it's been uh, alive a little, little bit longer than auto farm i don't know the fees i haven't compared the fees here together but auto farm when i saw it and i talked with the team it just made a lot of more sense and if you don't know how to get started with Binance Smart Chain, I think this video is getting a little bit too long already. So I will make a separate video and I will try to release it as soon as I can just to how to get started and how to set up the MetaMask and everything else. Uh, yeah, so I'll make a different video for that. Anyway, these are this is the best yield farm on Binance Smart Chain in my opinion and it aggregates these different places and I show a, a few diff different pools, even the B-Dollar ecosystem Maybe you see the value in it, maybe you don't. Maybe you think all of this is a massive scam. Let me know down below uh, in the comments. If you have any questions, let me know. And also you can join the Telegram groups here. Uh, all of the guys here that I was talking with, the auto farm and the B-Dollar ecosystem were quite transparent and helped me with my questions. I had like 20 questions for each of them in the last three days and so forth. But anyway, that's it for this video. Let me know if you thought this was interesting and I will see you in the next video.